Hey guys, Cam here from PhoneDog.com and after months of waiting and dozens of leaks we finally have our hands on the brand newly announced Samsung Galaxy S6. For those who liked complaining about the Samsung trend of using too much plastic, you'll be glad to know it's entirely gone. Instead, we have a Samsung made entirely of Corning, Gorilla Glass 4 and metal, and it feels reassuringly sturdy in hand. Of course, that comes with a trade-off, there's no more removable battery, but that 2550 mAh battery inside should prove efficient enough to keep your phone going all day. The metal frame around the edge has a slight curve, and on the bottom edge there's a 35 millimeter headphone jack and a speaker grill, very similar to another phone currently on the market. On the right edge is the power button with a SIM tray beneath that and the volume buttons are situated on the left edge. The front is dominated by a 5.1 inch Super AMOLED display boasting a resolution of 1440 by 2560 and a pixel density of 577 ppi, almost double that magic 300 pixels per inch number people cared about so much a few years ago. Along with those we have the familiar home key and capacitive back and multitasking buttons on the front. On the top is an impressive sounding 5 megapixel f-stop 1.9 front facing camera and an IR blaster to use the device as a remote control on the top edge. On the back is Samsung's new 16 megapixel camera which it claims is better than the iPhone 6 Plus at low light performance. It comes with the capability of shooting 4K video and has real-time HDR to help even out light levels and OIS to help keep those images blur free. Powering the device is not a Snapdragon chip, instead Samsung has opted for its own Exynos 7420 processor and that's made up of two quad-core chips. One is a 1.5GHz and the other is 2.1GHz. With that comes 3GB of RAM and 3 options for internal storage. 32GB, 64GB and 128GB. We also have the usual fingerprint sensor on the front and a heart rate blood oxygen sensor on the back. On the software side it's running Android 5.0 Lollipop and as you'd expect Samsung's own touch with UI on top. It's not the heaviest skinning from Samsung that I've ever seen but it's not that much different to what's currently running on the Galaxy Note 4. And size-wise, it fits nicely in the hand, which isn't surprising given its slender 6.8mm thickness. Roughly the same thickness as an iPhone 6. Big talking point for me, though, is that there's a lot here that you wouldn't expect from a Samsung Galaxy S. There's no removable battery or back cover, no expandable storage, and no plastic. It feels more premium, but I'm not sure the trade-offs are going to be worth it for those who are fans of the previous models. But there's no denying this is a beautiful, thin, and solid phone with a touch of class we maybe haven't seen before on the Galaxy S lineup. The phones will be out in April and they're going to come in four different colours. I've been Cam, I'm at phonedog underscore Cam on Twitter. Please follow me, tweet me, ask me any questions while I'm out here at MWC and of course use those comments down below and I'll see you again soon.